All right, so we're here at one of my favorite hangouts, Bass Pro Shops in Dania Beach, Florida, getting ready for our next offshore adventure. Gonna do a good amount of bottom fishing. I'm not gonna tell you where we're going just yet. That's coming soon, but some little tips and tricks up front as we get ready for this trip. I'm gathering some stuff that we need on the equipment list. These guys here are what we call some little troll right jigs. Uh, great for yellowtail fishing, mangrove snapper fishing. Can tip them with shrimp, can tip them with silver sides, anything like that. And they're extremely effective. So follow me around the store. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek on what's going inside the tackle trays for this bottom fishing excursion. All right, here we go guys. Bucktail jigs, always great to have in your arsenal. Uh, a couple of different sizes, depending upon what kind of current you have. We're gonna end up adding a couple of hooks to these and they're great to fish back kind of in the water column, sardines, ballyhoo, whatever. Catch anything on these, snappers, mackerel, dolphin, you name it. Anything that might swim up in your chum slick as you're anchored up in bottom fishing. All right, next up is the leader department. Gotta make sure you have at least a few spools of fluorocarbon uh, in your tackle trays. Don't be afraid guys to go ultra light, especially when you're targeting these mangrove snappers, these yellowtail snappers and things of that nature. They can get leader shy really easy. What I have right here is some 20 pound fluorocarbon and believe it or not, even some 15 pound fluorocarbon. All right, so we're over here in the hook aisle. This box of hooks here is some Mustad 34091s. They're a long shank open eye hook. We're gonna use those as I was talking about to do a double or triple hook set on those bucktail jigs to fish our ballyhoo and our sardines. And then we've got a pack of these Mustad Ultra Points, number one's really small circle hook. We're gonna use those again for anything we might fish, small bait wise with the silver sides when we're drifting back for the yellowtails or the mangroves. Um, we've got our leader. We just need to add in some 50 pound swivels. We've got our jigs. We've got some hooks if we wanna go with just a clean bait presentation. All you need to add is a variety of egg sinkers, maybe in the, anywhere from like the quarter ounce on up to like the one ounce range. So you're prepared for different current and conditions. And we're getting ready to hop on our boat. So follow us to see where we're going. What up Fish Blue crew? We are in Bimini, Bahamas. Just got here, beautiful day, anchored up at the sandbar, and we're here to spend a couple of days enjoying a little adventure. Remember, the channel's all about action, adventure, education. This young guy right here, oldest in the family, is getting ready to head to the University of Florida. This is a send-off party for him. We got the CV Bimini bash going on. We're gonna mix in a little fishing. Let's go. Let's go. On the hook down south of Bimini a little ways just got a couple chum bags in the water and we got a bunch of chubs behind the boat which I don't love water is actually pretty dirty we ran through some uh, some pretty clean water coming down here but we're here so we're gonna give it a shot got some yellowtail numbers from a buddy of mine oh he's tight zero mm -hmm. Keep him off the bottom, gotta get him off the bottom. Turn his head. I don't know if it's the right species, but it could be a good sign. Pulling like it could be a nice big flag. 
Um, but we're here. We're going to get the chum going. Hopefully the plan is some yellowtails uh, today. We're going to get a bottom rod going too. Maybe a mutton or a grouper. Day one fishing right here, South Bimini. Yeah, that's a keeper. Riley with the first keeper of the day. Keep getting bigger. Be careful with the uh, spikes. Right, you can uh, Where am I? go in the coffin box. Hi, Chris. Yeah. Try going nice. down the, here. Try going down the middle. Just inside. That looks like a nice one. Your drag isn't too loose, is it, Chris? Uh, I'm not sure. Let me see. I got it. That's pretty good. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Pumps and reel down. Pumps and reel down. Just don't reel against the drag, okay? Randy towel rod there, bent over. Love those rods. If you need yeah. to slow them down a little bit, you can always do this with your hand. All right. Just try and stop him. Turn his head. Now, now, pump up and reel. You, but you, when you do that, here, watch me for a second. When you're coming back up, yep. keep your hand on that. Try, okay. Oh, he, he's, he's trying to get you into the. Gone. Yeah, I was trying to take you into the bottom. There's no way that was a tail, right? I don't know. It could have been a monster flag. There. Got it. That's what's cutting you boys off. Where are the jig heads, Dad? Huh? Give me a second, Riley. Oh, don't get me in the shirt, dog. learn how to tie a bimini check out our gallery below we got a rigging video to show you how to tie on a bimini twist getting ready to throw a double on this send it down for a bottom rod check out that video if you don't know how to tie a bimini All right, so we're changing it up out in the deep, down off Cat Key, getting ready to fire down the LP, throw some squids on the hooks, see if we can catch a few deep drop baits. Going down. Once you hit the bottom, you're going to probably want to swing that rod to the other side because of the wind yep. we have. Hi there, right? Give me the gaff. Get the lead. That's a nice yellow eye. Yeah. Now, just need to double up both rods with about three on at a time. Chris, you gotta get in the game, bro. Yep, another one on. Hopefully it stays on. Doubled up on the encore, huh? So I'm hoping mine didn't come off. 
I'm hoping you didn't come off either. But we got these, uh, Randy Tao built me a full set of rods. Uh, they're all spectacular, but these rods in particular just have the perfectly soft tip for dropping where as long as you're fishing the right lead, you can see that bite well. And then one of the keys, see some guys that will fish a really stiff, like a meat stick rod. And the problem with that is the tip has no real sensitivity or give in it. So with these fish too, don't always, just got so much line out, you may or may not get a good hook in them with the circle hook. That sensitivity of the rod helps to keep them from hopefully coming off. Once this stops, it'll stop here in a second. Then you want to keep going. The solid yellow eye in the boat. Yeah. Chris hooked up in the back. Whoa! Oh, Chris! Woo! Look at that. My dog! Yeah, Chris. Redeeming himself. <laughs> yes, son. Brent, grab that lead. That's a beauty. That is a beauty. Here's my bad arm. Let me get this thing out of here. Hold it up with pride. Right there, up, right in there. Well done. Look at that. That's, uh, that's probably a solid four pound yellow eye right there. Yeah. Cat key bimini. You know what I say? I say we do it again, dog. Let's do it. Let's be a nice little queen or mystic. Where was it you guys caught all those strawberry peppers at? I was in the Abacos. Gaff. Oh, you don't want one? Not a shark. Stop. Silky. Oh. Nice. This little silky snapper. You tight? Yeah, I want. Here you go. It's a nice silky. New species, it? ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the boat. We have ourselves what we like to call a silky snapper. These guys swim in the same areas typically where you'll find uh, the, uh, the queens and the mystics as well. So, another good eating, white fish from the bottom of the ocean. Is that a queen? There is. A little queen. Oh, stop. Queen. Yeah. What is it? Queen. Queen. Nice. Nice. Ooh. Yes, son. Chris putting a little queenie on deck. Out of pound son. Damn. You like it like that. Yeah, Flyers. Bryn. Flyers. 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 I got Flyers. it. There you go, boy. Good job. Another one in the box. Queen snap my mind. DJ Khaled. From the deep. Another one. Goldfish from the bottom. Yo, Chris C. <laughs> Queen. Queen of the Encore V. Yes, sir. All right, so that's a wrap. It's been a great weekend uh, here in Bimini. Uh, had a, we had a fantastic time hanging with uh, our friends at CV. They definitely know how to uh, show their customers a good time. Got some quality uh, time in with the fam. Little uh, memory trip before we send Riley off to Gainesville to start his college career. Caught a few fish, had some great laughs, and that's what it's all about. So we are uh, we're gonna be westbound back to the real world. We hope you enjoyed this video and there'll be many more good ones to come so stay tuned hit that subscribe button and we'll see you for the next fish blue water video